said uh, there are folks in the Agile community who say that architecture is obsolete, that all you have to do is let the architecture emerge. This has always been ridiculous. None of the people at the Agile Manifesto meeting in Utah thought that. We all thought that it was a good idea not to invest massive amounts of time up front trying to design every last little bit of the software, but none of us thought that architectures emerge from nothing. And if you had polled any of us back then, you would have heard us tell you that no software system can be assembled at any kind of scale unless some thought had been put into what the structure of that software system is going to be. So let me dispel that particular illusion right now. Agile is not the absence of architecture. Agile is simply a framework in which we can apply a good architecture. Now, is architecture fixed? When you, when you initially decide what shape the system is going to be, is that the shape that the system will be? And the answer to that is no. Because as you begin to write the individual lines of code, and as you begin to assemble the modules in that system, you will find that there are pressures created by those modules and by those lines of code that impinge upon the architecture and cause it to change shape. And this changing shape of the architecture continues every time someone adds a new feature or adds or a change to a feature or adds a new facility to the system. That puts pressure on the architecture and the architecture must respond. Therefore, the architecture is a living, breathing thing. It changes with the system on a day-to-day -day basis. It is not some fixed map that we all follow for the next 10 years. It's going to be something that we always have to adjust and tweak and twiddle and respond to throughout the lifetime of any software project.